Planned Parenthood has been a controversial subject since the moment it opens its doors. And while a lot of people know about it, not a lot of people know about Margaret Sanger, its founder. Due to certain events she witnessed during her childhood, she it caused her to become an avid women rights activist and dedicating her life to the contraceptive movement, founding um, Planned Parenthood, and funding the research for the birth control pill. When you're done listening to my speech, you will be able to know the basics of her childhood, her activism, and her founding the makings of Planned Parenthood and the birth control pill. Coming from a large family herself, Sanger saw the struggles that her mother faced from trying to raise a very large family in poverty. She was born on September 14, 1879 in Cornings, New York to Michael Higgins and Anna Higgins. She had 10 siblings herself. Both her parents influenced her and her career in a very big way. Michael, her father, influenced her by instilling in her that she needs to fight for what's right and he provided a good example himself by being very involved in promoting the women's suffrage movement. Her mother helped her and influenced her career in the way that she allowed her to witness her struggles and everyday life of trying to raise a family and raise 10 kids in poverty and what her mother went through. Um, with it, with no contraceptives or contraceptive information being available at the time, it was not uncommon for households to have very large families that they could not afford. Along with the normal challenges of raising a family, and her mother also um, survived seven miscarriages. Whenever Margaret was 19 years old, she cared for her mother as her mother became very sick. And whenever her mother died, Margaret heavily blamed the fact that um, she had 11 pregnancies and seven miscarriages and how that deterior deteriorated her body and, and, and blamed that on why she died at such a young age of 50. Um... Margaret Sanger, in 1902, graduated from White Plains Hospital and became a practical nurse. She went on to um, pursue nursing, and it was then that she, it was then she met her future husband, William Sanger. Before continuing, she, before continuing her education, she decided to not make that move and start a family instead. According to um, PBS Living in New York City, she became involved in various progressive era movements and she worked with, um, she worked with a lot of women in poverty who had experienced botched or um, abortions due to unwanted pregnancies um, as she was a nurse and she was a nurse in lower level um, east side in New York. It was then that she realized the extreme need for contraceptives and contraceptive information. She decided to create a very short-lived public feminist publication the women the woman's rebel woman's rebel which mailed out a letter or a newsletter to women and informed them about contraceptives safe sex and along with all of that the importance of women having pleasure in sex as well as men she, this was all during the era of the um, corn stock laws, which were laws that prohibited anything to be mailed out with information that was considered obscene. And at the time, this information was considered obscene. She flew to, she fled to Europe and stayed there for a year until she came back for her trial 
and the charges ended up being dropped and she was not arrested. Um, it was then that she created her, the very first clinic for birth control that is, that is what we know of as Planned Parenthood now. Um, this was made entirely by female doctors and female social workers. Within days of this being open, Margaret was actually arrested for what was considered public, she was considered a public nuisance. She spent 30 days in jail, and while she was in jail, she got major media attention and supporters. And while she did actually lose her trial and her appealment, um, the pressure that her supporters had put on the court allowed the court to create a loophole of sorts that states that um, medical um, officials can provide information to um, women, which is what Margaret used to continue her practice of Planned Parenthood and spread her word. Um, it wasn't until she had actually retired from her career, although she never fully retired, but she retired as the CEO of Planned Parenthood, that she funded research um, and experiments to be held so that women could have an oral contraceptive that was safe, easy, practical, and a good alternative to having forced pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies that women, one, could not pay for, or two, just if they did not want it. And um, it wasn't until 1960 that the pill was actually accepted and fully legalized for conception. Um, or, um, in conclusion, Margaret Sanger become, became one of the most important activists and created a, an entire movement that was, in, that was influenced by her own mother's struggles. Firstly, she grew in New York. She grew up in New York with her parents and her 10 siblings. And her 10 siblings, um, which moved her into her activism of, um, her activism of birth control and contraceptives and the making of birth control and Planned Parenthood. It's important to remember and appreciate Margaret because she was so important and impactful to the lives of women and how we raise families and children nowadays. Thank you.